meetings, informal meetings or formal meetings between him and the CBSE authorities and we try to kind of see what their sensitivities are and they try to accommodate what our sensitivities are. And the outcome uh, has been that there has been a quite a kind of harmonious interaction in that regard. <coughs> Commission would like to place on record the exceptionally kind of uh, exceptional cooperation Commission has been getting in election after elections in the context of availability and deployment of central forces, MHA, in the context of availability of wagons, Ministry of Railways. Postal Department and many other agencies, can't name everybody, but they have been our kind of uh, some of the biggest uh, adj adjuncts with the Commission and they perform in the election duties as if they are also a part of ECI. We are really thankful to them. Commission has further strengthened 1950 our unified toll free voter helpline to cater to all the queries of voters, including verification of name and polling booth in the electoral roll using its SMS facilities. As I informed you during Maharashtra elections, we the exact number of polling stations which we brought on the ground floor was 5,600. And we have made clear to our CEOs that this is something non-negotiable in view of the aged people and people with persons with disability. And I must say that CEOs have also risen to the occasion in Maharashtra, in Bihar and all the states, I'm sure they've already done this. Assist, assistance of volunteers, priority voting, electric ram, electricity, ramps, wheelchair and proper transport facility shall be made available to the PWD voters. Commission has been very insistent that the assured minimum facilities at each polling station including drinking water, toilets, power supply, waiting area for ramps etc. is made available including in the auxiliary polling stations. Additionally, polling stations shall now be equipped with sanitizers, masks, soap, water and other necessary equipment to handle any health emergencies. Volunteers will be deployed to assist PWD voters, senior citizens and COVID-affected voters. All necessary administrative and security safeguards have been put in place for EVMs and VVPATs, including randomization, FLC movement, and storage protocols, as well as multi-layer security cover. You are all aware that bottle code of conduct was evolved by the Commission in sustained dialogue with the political parties since the 60s. This is probably the only document which is a tribute as much to the political parties as to the then CECs or ECs. That is a consensus document. The MCC shall come into force with the announcement of these elections. Commission has made adequate arrangements to ensure the effective implementation of MCC guidelines. Only in the case of elections, by-elections to the state assemblies, uh, a separate notification shall be issued by Mr. Sina and MCC shall come into force at that time. Criminal candidates with criminal dissidents are required to publish information in this regard in newspapers and TV channels on three occasions during the campaign period. It is also mandatory for political parties to publish in national and vernacular papers regarding individuals with pending criminal cases selected as candidates along with reasons for such selection as also why other individuals without criminal antecedents could not be selected as candidates. 
a whole lot of uh, citizen groups, SSGs, Commission itself, and Honorable Supreme Court have been very persistent and rightly so in following this part. The expenditure limit for Puducherry would be 22 lakhs per constituency and the rest of the four states would be 30.8 lakhs. You would recall that in the run-up to the Bihar election, the expenditure limit was increased by 10%. You would also recall that over and above this expenditure limit as an immediate measure during the COVID period, it has also been decided by the Commission to utilize the services of Mr. Harish Chandra, Harish Kumar, a very senior officer from the IRS, who was Principal DG Investigation Delhi. He has already been working for the past more than a month, or almost two months, and has already given a very detailed, exhaustive report, which Commission has, in one of the meetings, accepted in principle, and formed this committee of officers which we have that now they will devise the modalities to implement the same within the coming month. The citizens are also requested to make extensive use of Sea Vigil app to report any such illegal activity and inform us in case of violation of MCC or incidents of bribery, etc. You are aware that Sea Vigil, which was started initially as a pilot project in Bangalore, has over the period of time during Lok Sabha was extended to the entire country and has now become one of the biggest tools of empowerment of citizens and voters. Media is one of the one of our most important allies. I know you don't believe it, but I mean it. <laughs> As I said that we end up every visit